All right, so we outside of this uh, single family in Rawway, New Jersey. Uh, this is a flip that we worked on for a few months. Uh, I'll go through the details with you guys quickly. So this particular property we um, purchased last year, we paid about, I think, $210,000. Um, the seller was in uh, foreclosure. They actually went to the auction. We had to redeem it, which is a process of buying a property. Um, while after it went to the auction in the grace period, so we did that. Uh, that's a technique very few people know about. Um, and we purchased that property, saving the sellers in less than 10 days. And by doing this, uh, we were able to obtain this asset. Uh, currently, it's on the contract for four hundred and sixty thousand, uh, and we cost us about a hundred thousand dollars to renovate. Now, right here, what you see is the oil tank. Um, we had to pull an oil tank. They found an oil tank on the property. Uh, normally, I try to do an oil tank search beforehand, but I kind of played it cheap. I asked the owners if there was an oil tank. They assured me there was no oil tank. And of course, here you go. We found the oil tank. So trust but verify, right? Anyway, so now let us go inside the property. I'm gonna go inside of it right now. All right. This is the area. Let me go back a long ways so you can see the area. So not bad. Pretty quiet residential area. Uh, very close to a train. There's actually a train tracks behind there. So it's like five minutes to a train that goes to New York City. So I feel within a few years, this will be an $800,000 house. But um, that's not our business model. So um, we can't wait 10 years for that to happen. Um, so coming on the inside of the property, as you can see, we did everything white. I like white. It makes everything look bigger. Put brand new floors. All right. Everything's fully permitted. All right. Got all permits done. Our stiff of occupancy. We actually built this uh, shelf. We. This is something I saw in a magazine, and I wanted to utilize the technique. So we built a shelf around the um, the bow window. All right. Uh, so we built that shelf. Now, <clears throat> what we did also was we covered the heating system with a bench. So this is pretty cool. Put it down here. You get to sit on the bench. A kid could watch their father come home. So I thought it was pretty cool. I was thinking of my daughter watching me come home from work when I built this. So I think the new owners will really enjoy that. So we put... Um, um, ceiling fans. This is something I like. I put ceiling fans in every room. It reduces the uh, heat. There's a thermostat here. The fireplace is not working. It's actually sealed up. If you can look up there. You see we sealed it. Um, so it's just basically for show. I like about this place, it has a sunroom. And you know, what's weird is that in the winter time, this sunroom is warm and there's no heat in it. So when they this, the way this is built is actually phenomenal. Uh, we laid some flooring here, not the same type of flooring as this one. Um, that one is a more uh, kind of waterproof type flooring we put over there. All right, and this is another angle of the property. So over here, let's go to the kitchen. All right, um, this is the kitchen right here. Uh, pretty good, nice granite. All right. Stainless steel appliances. Nice frigidaire fridge. Nice island. With some extra cabinets over here with a wine rack. All right. Now we got a half bathroom. All right. This was already here. We just had to tile it and uh, redo the tiling. Let's. I'm not gonna go in the basement, it's just a typical basement in Jersey. 
no need to waste time on that. Let's go up the stairs. Now, the floors up here, we can put the same as downstairs. We use the same floors, a much thinner floor because we didn't want to raise it up off the ground too much. So you notice the floor is a little bit thinner, a different type of floor. Um, but it suited this area well. Bedroom's a little bit small, I gotta admit. So what we did was use, bought these ceiling fans. I think I found them on Amazon or eBay, can't remember. And what it do is the fan and the light is almost the same height. So unlike the fans downstairs, this is, um, gives you a much better, there, let me check my height, I'm 5'11". So, even though the ceilings aren't that big, it's a little bit better. Um, smoke and fire, smoke and carbon detectors. I use those, no sense in just getting smoke. Get both the smoke and carbon. You gotta keep my eye out, waiting for the building inspector to come to inspect the oil tank so we can get that cleared up. All right. All right, there's another room. So like a little office or walk-in closet, however they want to make it. Right. That's the heating system now. There is baseboard heat. Older baseboard heat, never really seen that before. First time working with that type. They put the lights on. So this is the bathroom. I think we did an amazing job in the design. All right, we used a lot of accents to really bring out that look at that bathroom. That glass towel really goes well with this uh, marble towel. All right. So it doesn't take much to make something a little bit look expensive. A uh, whirlpool tub. All right. So we did. Um, I did glass doors because I wanted to reveal the beauty. I didn't want to hide the beauty. Some people like frosted, but I wanted to keep the beauty of the bathroom. Let's check this here. It's not plugged in right now, I guess. All right, but normally that would go off. Um, let's see. It's the bathroom here. Vent fan up there. Lights right there. Shut this off. Okay. And then there's one more, just bedroom here, nothing big. All right, a little closet. All right, now here's an interesting thing. There is an upstairs for the person to expand and put another larger bedroom. We didn't finish it. The reason we didn't finish it is because you need permits to finish something like this. And even though it's large and would have given us, it would probably would have added another $100,000 of value it would also had to go through variants, which could take six months, and it would probably cost about twenty-five to thirty grand. So, are you going to spend thirty grand to make a hundred? Some people would, but the problem is the time. You're going to be delayed again, right? Because you have to get plans. So, what we did for the buyer is we ran the plumbing up to here, so they have the plumbing. They have um, you can't really see it, but behind there. You have the heating on the right side, right? Right there, you got the waste going up the stack. And behind that, you have just two supply lines. So they already have their plumbing up here and there's electric. So they can easily put electric up here, but we just kept it insulated. We're not doing anything else to this because the more stuff you do, the more problems you can create for yourself and the more it costs. Yes, we probably could have sold it for more, but um, the math just wasn't worth it for me and the time wasn't worth it. It's best to sell these, get your profit and go, especially now with the rates rising and the market conditions. You know, why take the risk, right? Uh, you know, I'm a veteran at this and uh, I've seen where you lose money also. So, you know, I, I was in the, the uh, big... 08 crash or like many investors now try to teach people how to invest and never been in a crash which is kind of ridiculous so anyway this is a flip in New Jersey hopefully you guys like to walk through and I'll see you in the next video keep hustling hood hustlers hustle hard